welcome back to your virtual field camp experience and this is Dr. Crane. We're going to do a field trip stop number two. In field trip stop number one we were on the south side of this road. Now we're going to cross over onto the north side to go to field trip stop number two and we may also do field trip stop number three. Um, no, we'll do that in a separate video. Don't know why I got, I got a little antsy there all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go to field trip stop number two. We're going to be uh, just at this transition point between the Navajo sandstone and coming up here onto part of the Entrada sandstone. Drop my little man or person right there. Okay, if you drag and drop and this is what you see, something has not happened right. So see how there's these weird like icicle pointy tips? That means that you are in 3D view. You are actually not uh, in street view. So I'm going to exit this again. And grab my little person. Yeah, that blue line should be lighting up. There's the blue line. Give that blue line a second to load. Try this again. Fail again. Okay. I know this is probably the most entertaining for you, but honestly, you should see how to problem solve when things like this come up. Okay. Sometimes, and I don't understand why this is, sometimes you got to go down the road a little bit and then walk to where you want to be. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of ironic. That's the most realistic part of this virtual field trip. <laughs> oh, sometimes you got to park and walk. All righty. Let's try it here. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we're in street view. All right, just a, a quick reminder about why we thought there might be something here, why we thought there might be a fault. Everything over here was looking really nice and normal, dipping just a little bit to the south. Everything over here looked very different. Uh, different rock type, a uh, little bit of a different orientation, uh, and that made us think that maybe there's some kind of a fault here. So I'm going to pass through this Entrada sandstone. Nice little cliff former. Wouldn't be a geology field trip without a little bit of motion sickness. Let's keep on going. Okay, this is about where field trip stop number two um, is supposed to take place. I think the actual marker might be right in front of that sign, but, but this is fine. Okay, so what I want you to do is sketch about what you see in this frame. Okay, so what I mean by that is I want you to highlight in your sketch this unit up here with the units below it and uh, it's not a, a huge deal if you aren't totally sure about what all these units are to give you a hint this is the Wingate this is the Wingate Sanson so you saw this earlier um, it's a, a cliff former one of the really notable things about this guy is or gal whatever the rock wants to be is it gets these like stained marks on the front of it and it's just a super dramatic cliff former. Now if you were looking at the Entrada sandstone which is this one right here 
you might initially think that this is this rock, but it's not, okay? The Entrada Sandstone is actually um, much, much younger than the Wingate. So if we open up the geologic map that you were provided, and we go down to the table of geologic units, and yes, I know that there are cross-sections provided. I don't care right now. <laughs> okay, Entrada Sandstone is JES. So it's up here. It's 250 meters thick, uh, and it looks like it's middle of Jurassic. Wingate Sandstone is all the way down here at the very base of the Jurassic. So Wingate, what's way up tall, up high on top of that hill, is actually much, much older than the Entrada. So, and, and if you wanted to check with this, there are fossils in those formations, you could double check your work. So what we're saying here is that this much younger formation is lower in the sequence than this older formation. Well, that's weird. How would we get this young rock out here and kind of down and dipping, you know, down into this valley and not way above this unit? That's very strange. So what I want you to do in your sketch um, is highlight this rock, give its name, give its age, uh, again, not necessarily in years, but um, just the lower Jurassic, middle Jurassic is this Entrada sandstone, and then this is our Navajo sandstone, which is actually below the Entrada. Okay. When you sketch this, don't forget that you're going to need uh, some kind of a scale. Here, for your scale, you can just mark from here to here and say the visitor center. Or you could mark here to here and say a four-lane road. That's fine. Um, you don't have to give exact values for those. You can estimate it, but you need some kind of uh, something that a, a human would be able to comprehend in that, that scale. You need an orientation. And what I want you to do is make a guess in your sketch of where there might be a structure. So if we've got these units kind of lining up over here, but something weird going on right here, and these are dipping down, where could the structure be? Okay, so that is field trip stop um, number two is just a, uh, a sketch, a guess of where there's structure, and also please include what kind of structure you think it might be um, in your sketch. Thanks.